In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the price to sales ratio. So let's start with this example problem. Stock XYZ has a market capitalization of 500 million and has 125 million in annual sales. What is the price to sales ratio of this company? If you know the formula, feel free to try this problem. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to work on it. So let's begin. The price to sales ratio, indicated by the letters P over S, it's basically the price of the company, which is the market capitalization, divided by the sales of the company. And this is the annual sales or the sales that occurred in the last 12 months. So in this example, we have a market cap of 500 million. The annual sales is 125 million. These units will cancel. So it's going to be 500 divided by 125. And so the answer is four. So for this particular stock, the price to sales ratio is four. And that's the formula that you need in order to calculate the PS ratio. Now let's move on to our next problem. Stock ABC has a share price of $15 and 30 million shares outstanding. It has 750 million in annual sales. So there's two parts to this problem. A, what is the market capitalization value? And B, what is the PS ratio for this company? So let's start with A. The market capitalization can be calculated by multiplying the price per share times the number of shares outstanding. And so this is going to give me the market value or the price of the entire company. And so it's called the market cap or market capitalization. So the share price is $15. So it's 15 bucks per share. And then multiplying this by 30 million shares, we can get the market cap in millions of dollars. So it's going to be 15 times 30. And so the market cap is going to be 450 million. So that's the value of the whole company in this example. So now let's move on to part B. What is the price to sales ratio for this company? So just like before, the PS ratio is going to be the market cap divided by the sales. So we have a market cap of 450 million. The annual sales is 750 million. So it's going to be 450 over 750, which is 0.6. So notice that the PS ratio is less than 1. When a PS ratio is less than 1, this means that the sales of the company is greater than the market cap. As you can see, the sales is 750, the market cap is 450. A PS ratio of 1 means that the sales is equal to the market cap. And a PS ratio that's larger than 1 means that the sales is less than the market cap. So a company with a low PS ratio is a company with a large amount of sales. And that's important to understand. Number three, stock GFK has a market cap of 2 billion and a PS ratio of 0.25. Calculate the annual sales of this company. So go ahead and take a minute and try this problem. So we need to rearrange the formula. So we know that the price to sales ratio is the market cap divided by the sales. But what if we want to calculate the sales? What do we need to do? 
Well, let's do some algebra. Let's multiply both sides by the sales. So we have sales times the price to sales ratio, and that's going to equal the market cap. Dividing both sides by the price to sales ratio will give us the formula that we need. So the sales of the company is equal to the market cap divided by the PS ratio. So now we can get our answer. So this company has a market cap of 2 billion and a PS ratio of 0.25. So 2 divided by 0.25 is 8. So as we can see, because the price to sales ratio is less than 1, the sales of the company, which is 8 billion, is greater than the market cap, which is 2 billion. So let's review some things. So I'm going to have the market cap, the PS ratio, and the sales. Just to help you to understand the concept of the PS ratio. So let's say this is company A, company B, company C. And for the sake of simplicity, let's say that each of these three companies has a market cap of 1 billion. We're going to say the PS ratio of company A is 0.10. For B, it's 1, and for C, we're going to say that it's 10. Now, when the PS ratio is 1, the market cap and the sales will be the same. With a PS ratio of 10, the sales is going to be 1 billion divided by 10, or it's going to be 100 million. With a PS ratio of 0.1, 1 billion divided by 0.1 is 10 billion. So as you can see, a company with a low PS ratio is a company with a large amount of sales. A company that has a high PS ratio has a low amount of sales. So make sure you understand that. As the PS ratio decreases, the sales increases. So a low PS ratio corresponds to high revenue or high sales. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.